Hey friends and welcome back. It is your creative weird creepy makeup artist friend Kaz Sketch to bring you another makeup video while telling some spooky stories. Subscribe for more videos like this. I also do beauty makeups. I do effects videos. I do body paintings while telling creepy stories year round on this channel. We do Halloween type looks beautiful things and creepy twists. I've been doing makeup effects professionally for over seven years, so subscribe for some more. Now, today we're gonna turn into something very evil and creepy, and that is my take on a demonic type figure female look. I was heavily inspired by these two artists I found on Instagram, Christina Gabrielle. Her blue look is stunning, and Orla Fenton MUA. This is so pretty. So we're gonna do our own beauty makeup take on an evil, demon-like look while talking about some really realistic backstabbing life stories from people with their family and friends because you never know who has evil intentions who may be close to you. So I'm definitely going to put a wig cap on and this first person story is so insane because their best friend broke into their house to slash their couch and stab them with a fork all because they thought that this person was cheating with their boyfriend, like sleeping with their boyfriend, all on a thought, not facts, not evidence. This next person unfortunately had a miscarriage on the morning that her friend's baby shower was booked on. So she called her friend, thinking that her friend would understand, you know, why she didn't want to attend the baby shower. And her friend answered the phone saying, oh my gosh, now you have to drop your gift off at my baby shower. And she has to do this before everyone else arrives so that she could count it all with the gift registry on the baby gift table. And that was seriously going to mess up her entire day. How selfish and rude are people? I would have hung up the phone and never talked to that person again. So this next person's mother is a real estate agent and sold their house for them. A few years later, the new owners of the house sold it for 10, not 10, $100,000 more. But that's because they renovated it, did more detail in the house, put more work into it than they did. But when her best friend's mother found out, she tried to sue that mother that sold the house for money saying that she devalued the house and told the whole town that the mother was a witch. This one person said that her ex-boyfriend cheated on her with their best friend and none of them decided to tell her. This one person looked up to a man who that they thought was like a father-like mentor figure to them. So much so that this father-like figure convinced them to leave their job to come work for them. By the way, these horns, I hope you've noticed, they are makeup sponges that I just cut into triangles and glued to my head with prosade. But this mentor, father-like figure, was saying that how they were gonna promote them, get them towards their goal, and that he needed them on his team at the job. But when he went to work for him, it was like Jekyll and Hyde, night and day personality shift. He would talk back to him, use him as a scapegoat to get away from his problems, insulted him and the rest of the staff, so much so that it completely derailed this person's reputation and entire career. And it took this person four years to bust their butt to get their reputation and career back. So this person's best friend back in the early 2000s had just had their first love heartbreak and was in a very bad place. Which, oof, I totally understand that. Them and their friend went bar hopping to meet new women and to, you know, drown the sorrows and go partying. Fast forward to the end of the night, the friend hands him a digital camera. Now this is back in 2001, just to give you a reference why there was a digital camera and how that wasn't like weird or retro back then. And they were scrolling through it and found some really fun pictures that they took together that night, just having fun. And then he scrolls past a picture though that's of his ex-girlfriend and his friend who just handed him the camera making out. Crazy. So this next time around, this person's friend was begging them for a job back in high school. And they had like a sweet job going on, but they didn't want to mess it up by giving out, just hand out favors to just anyone, you know? I'm using the colors from my Color Drain Vivids palette. This stuff is amazing. I'm actually using a coral color to do the highlight points. 
I'm gonna contour the sides of my face with some matte black eyeshadow and with some dark red eyeshadow. So I guess they decided to hire their friend and things were fine at first and it took a turn for the worst. They were always trying to blame other people, get out, of the, get out of work, complaining and yelling at them in front of employees and customers. So their lesson was, that was it. They didn't ever want to give another friend a job because it just made them look like a jerk at work. A little sparkle here. And I'm probably gonna put in some matte black eyeshadow too on the sides. I need to put some black on my horns too. This next one's a wedding story. Their best friend was supposed to be their maid of honor in their wedding. And they also made her cake because the best friend's also a awesome baker. And this best friend that was maid of honor doing the cake lived an hour away so they didn't see much of each other before the wedding. Listen, I had best friends that lived two hours away from me when I lived in LA. Best friends make time for each other. That's not an excuse to me. That's just my two cents. And she couldn't even make it in time, the best friend, to choose the dresses. So another bridesmaid had to have the job of choosing the dresses for everyone. This is already starting out rough. Not the makeup, the story. But the bride let this best friend bridesmaid know which dress she was supposed to pick up. But this bride, since this, you know, the maid of honor is supposed to do, you know, the bachelorette party, bridal shower, all that, she didn't get one because this best friend just didn't, I guess, seem to put all that together. Have they not been to a wedding before? This bride seemed to be having bad luck because two months prior to her wedding, two other of her bridesmaids just backed out of the wedding, dropped out of it. So she was trying to get a hold of her maid of honor, her best friend that does the, supposed to do the cake because she hadn't heard from her a month and she's trying to get a hold of her the night before her wedding. And her best friend, the cake lady, the maid of honor said she couldn't make it to the wedding because she had to sort things out in her life that she thought would be sorted out before her wedding. The audacity. So this bride had to find someone to make her cake 24 hours before her wedding. And on this bride's wedding day, all her bridesmaid backed out. So the two backed out and then this one. So she only had one bridesmaid. And the next day on Facebook, she saw the best friend that was supposed to make the cake post pictures of herself at a pirate's game instead on the wedding day. The nerve. And she hadn't spoken to her since. I don't blame her. I just wish that people would be honest though, to be real. Like, I understand white lies, but that's a big one. That's a big lie. That only benefits you as the person. I'm making some black tears. So this next story in the sixth grade, this person had a crush on someone, ooh. And they had their best friend do a little interrogating, you know what I mean? Just so that they could see if this girl liked them back. He just asked if he has this dude talk to this girl to see if she liked him back so that he could, he could ask her to be his girlfriend. And this friend agreed, but a couple days later, the friend became boyfriend-girlfriend with this girl that he had a crush on. And it's just like, why are people this cruel? You know what I mean? Why? So this one person kept a pet toad all year round and in their window for the entire summer, and they named the toad after themselves. This is where I feel like it could go wrong. They asked their best friend to take care of the toad while they're gone to summer camp for 10 whole days. Wow, this is so sad. They came to find out when they got home from summer camp, their best friend stuck a firecracker in the toad's mouth and blew it away to kingdom come. Murdering their toad, how incredibly sad. That makes me so sad. I used to have a pet snake when I was a kid. If someone murdered my snake, I'd be sad. So this next person picked up a friend of Rosie at her ex-boyfriend's house. They had just broken up and she brought her to her house because she thought her friend could use some, you know, support and her friend wanted to cry her eyes out. So her friend stayed at her house while she did some yard work and then she took her back home and went back to her house. And she calls her girlfriend that night just to check up on her, make sure she's okay, and she does not answer the phone. So this is a wild term, but they, she was calling mutual friends and she find out that the friend Rosie was telling everybody that they had slept together. And it nearly destroyed all of her friendship because all of her other friends took Rosie's side and she tried to tell anyone, everyone that she wasn't cheating or like sleeping with Rosie and having Rosie cheat to have her break up with her relationship but no one believed her until Rosie actually admitted to all their mutual friends. Bitchy, those friends felt guilty. 
I'm gonna do a little white paint for some smoke. Apparently this girl Rosie was so crazy that she even tried to break up this person's relationships too when they got with someone other someone else later on like why do people have to be so crazy and they just want other people's acceptance even if their acceptance is based on a lie and what they know about them all right i think we have some smoke billowing up we need a wig and some lenses and just like that we have turned into the she devil i think it is so pretty and gorgeous i love how it turned out i hope you guys did too while we talked about all of the crazy backstabbing stories that people have gone through with family and friends or people they thought they were friends, there are good people out there, but there are some people who have bad intentions just in it for themselves who are super selfish and they teach us great life lessons while we get hurt, unfortunately. Leave a comment down below on what you love to see on this channel next. Subscribe for more videos. I do two videos a week every Monday and Friday. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. These lenses are from PinkyParadise.com. They are amazing. They're pitch black with yellow rings around them. And you can see through them at the same time. I love them. I can't believe these horns came out just from makeup sponges. Definitely check out the Instagram MUAs who I was inspired by to do this video and their beautiful looks. Like Orla Fenton and Mayue, who did the purple look I was inspired by, and definitely Christina Gabrielle. I'll put their Instagrams down below in the description box. I think this is a great look to do for Halloween as well. I love the little smoke detail on the lips. And I'll see you later, creators. Bye.